Welcome to Core Cutting Today, where we dive into some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting, including today, the death of cable TV. You'd be shocked at how few people watch cable networks still. We also have news on Roku testing a new home screen. We'll break down everything we know about that. And Comcast's newest Wi-Fi router. Make sure you stay online even when a big storm happens. Now, we're going to be diving into this and a whole lot more, but if you want to read about these stories, come up with your own opinions, check out the shelves down below and in the first pinned comment, I'll pull a link to each story we talk about there so you can read bomb for yourself and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you've been here a while or you're new, do me a favor, help me grow, help me support my family. Just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families, and hopefully helping you Break free from the high cost of TV, but still watch the shows you enjoy. All right, let's dive into it. Nielsen came out with their gauge report. This looks at the current state of both traditional TV and streaming. And not a big surprise, free streaming services continue to grow in market share. But what was interesting here is that cable networks, cable TV viewing is down to under 30%. It dropped to below 30%, 29.6% now. That is crazy. That means... Over 70% of viewing is either on broadcast TV networks so you can get free with an antenna or on streaming services. I've said this for years now, best TV on TV isn't on cable. You cannot watch the final season of Picard on cable TV, for example. You have to get Paramount Plus for it. The best TV on TV is streaming. And I think this is also why we're seeing core cutting grow so rapidly. The death cable is coming just because people are realizing there's not a lot they want to actually watch on there. Why am I paying for cable when 70 plus percent of my streaming or my TV is streaming through things like Paramount Plus, Max, and more? And increasingly, a lot of that's not even available on cable TV. But we're also seeing growth in free streaming services. Uh, Tubi, once again, was in first place at 1.4% of all TV viewing. Uh, the Roku channel, 1.1%, a slight gain there for them. Um, Pluto TV at um, 9% with that, just to name a few. Of course, YouTube is the number one way people watch TV now. 9.2% of all TV is uh, YouTube when it comes to streaming, at least. Netflix is second, Hulu. Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, Max, uh, Peacock, and Paramount Plus round out the rest of the top 11 streaming services out there right now. Leave me a comment. Does it surprise you at all that cable network viewing is below 30%? Does it surprise you it's that high almost? And does it surprise you about how popular free ad-supported streaming is becoming? It shouldn't. It's really a key factor in the growth of core cutting. All right, next up, Roku is finally testing a new user interface. Probably used to the one, two, three across and the three rows of channels with a half you keep scrolling. Roku has confirmed to CoreCars News that they are testing some new user interfaces. Over the weekend, some Roku owners noticed that they had a four by four, so four apps across the screen and four rows of apps allowing you to see a lot more um, streaming services at one time at a glance without having to scroll too far. As core cutters take advantage of free streaming services, increasingly, not the number of services they're paying for, but the total number they're using, when you consider things like Pluto, Tubi, YouTube, and more, are there. So Roku seems to be testing a home screen that shows you more apps at once so you can quickly get to your favorite service without scrolling for it. Now, this seems to be beta, only a few people have it. Roku says they're testing this new home screen. Just because they're testing it does not mean that this will actually become a reality. But for now, they are testing it. Let me know, would you like Roku to redo the home screen? What would you like from it? What do you think of the idea of a four by four, where you see more apps at once on the screen? So instead of seeing three, you would now see four at once and then four rows of them down. Leave me a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you on what you think of that. We do have an image, we have a link to over on Reddit of somebody who posted an image that got it. Check out the stories in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. All right, you work from home like I do, you probably view it very important to be online even when the internet goes out. So good news, or even when the power goes out, not when the internet goes out. Good news, Comcast has a new router that they call a Storm Ready. And the idea here is it has two great features. First of all, a battery built into it that can last for up to four hours, this is rechargeable, and sell your data so that you'll be able to power your device um, when the power goes out and stay connected to the internet through a cellular network if the uh, Comcast service goes out. This is a great option for it. It's a little pricey. You have to pay $252 upfront to buy the router and then $7 a month for this um, to use it. 
Again, this is probably targeting those must be online work from home people kind of like me where they want to make sure. Now you could buy an external battery pack a lot cheaper than $259. I think the real selling point here is the cellular automatic backup. Of course, a lot of people have that on their phone. If you really need a hotspot, you can probably flip that on your phone. With that, there are some catches here with it and how fast the backup, it's 4G, not 5G on this, it's LTE. But honestly, if you're just sending emails, surfing the web, um, and more like that, you're fine. It, 5G is really best when you're uploading files, a massive amount of streaming and more. But really good news here, as an option for those people who must be online, four hours of power, cellular backup with that, so that if Comcast internet goes out, you're good. If power goes out, you have about four hours of power with that to make sure you're gonna stay online. If you want to learn more, there is a link to find out and sign up for this in our um, story down below in the first pinned comment. All right, there's a new crypto-powered 5G wireless service backed by T-Mobile. It has um, internet service for and unlimited data and phone text, all that, for $5 a month. This is coming from a new service called, um, I'm going to get this name wrong, Helium Mobile. Now, this runs on the T-Mobile network here, but it's a crypto-powered system, and it's just $5 a month for this. We'll see how it all works out, but you know it's on the T-Mobile network, so the network's not gonna be a problem with it. I'll be very interesting if anybody signs up for this service and test it, do me a favor. Go to corecardsnews.com, click on the contact us, send me an email about this. I wanna know, Helium Mobile, is it worth it, is it any good? Leave me a comment, let me know. I wanna hear from you and what you think of it with it. All right, Next Gen TV is now live in Philadelphia, but there's a major issue here. For most core cutters, DRM is blocking this. Six channels launched in Philadelphia with ATSC 3.0 Next Gen TV, the new standard that eventually will bring 4K and all kinds of other cool stuff. Well, over half of them launched with DRM. Currently, no external box supports DRM, though they say that's coming. So it means most core cards will not be able to get this. There are a handful of TVs on the market or coming that will have a DRM supported tuner in them. But if you're not upgrading your TV, you're out of luck. If you went and bought one of those ATSC 3.0 boxes, you're out of luck right now with it. So keep that in mind with all that. But good news is it is coming. Um, ATSC is rolling out. DRM support to these, many of these boxes are coming soon. We'll keep a very close eye on this in the weeks and months to come. All right. If you haven't tried out the Roku channel, we talked about free services growing in market share. The Roku channel grew. Well, they added over 36 new channels, including a bunch of news channels and a partnership with NBC Universal and other partners to bring more channels. Today, this includes new channels, over 36 in total, with Murder, She Wrote, Little House on the Prairie, Mr. Beast, uh, Saga, Saved by the Bell, Teen NBC, Crime, Bad Girls Club, uh, Universal Actions and Alfred Hitchcock Presents are coming soon. But then there's other, tons of CBS, um, CBS News, CAS Sports HQ, their Soccer Network is launching. You also have things like Ninja Kids, VR Plus launching. And then also a ton of local news stations. People are asking, is this live 24 seven feet of these local stations? No, this is actually the local news and local programming, much like you get from other services, you now have the ability to get with um, the Roku channel. So 36 new channels now live on Roku, a great option for all that. Check it out, link in the show notes down below if you wanna learn more. And lastly up, YouTube TV yesterday started contacting anyone who has purchased NFL Sunday ticket to inform them that they're now eligible for four months of Max. Now we had learned earlier that Max was being bundled with YouTube TV and some type of bundle deal. I'm not sure if this is the final form of that, but if you are a YouTube TV customer who paid for NFL Sunday ticket, check your email. You have a coupon there, a link to go activate it for four months of Max for free on Roku, which is not a bad deal. You think about the cost of Max, and then you all, you know, it kind of helps a little bit offset the price of NFL Sunday ticket. I did not see it marketed on NFL Sunday tickets website. I'm not sure if new subscribers will get this deal or if this is exclusive to people already subscribed. We've reached out to Google for comment on that. We have not heard back at the time of recording this to kind of explain it, but good news. If you are an NFL Sunday ticket customer through YouTube TV, check your email associated with your YouTube account because you may have a coupon for four months of uh, 
NFL, or excuse me, of Max free with NFL Sunday Ticket. You need both YouTube TV and NFL Sunday Ticket to get this deal. Thanks to our readers who sent in that tip. If you have a tip like this, you find anything happening, you get an email like that, go to courtcursnews.com, click on the contact us, send us an email, contact us there, send out an email to all of our news teams so that we all see that tip. We can try to answer your questions or at least get that story live. We would really appreciate your support on it. Tips, deals, or more you spot, leave us a comment, let us know. We would appreciate it. Well, that's it for today. Have a fantastic day. I'll be back tomorrow with another story. Until then, take care. Be safe. I'll talk to you all real soon.